Dozens came to downtown Boise today to march on the Capitol. Their mission to raise awareness for mental health in the Gem State. Jake Melder is live in studio with the story. Mental health is a broad topic often ignored in our society, but we do often hear about bad mental health, mental illness. It is, the off, it is often the cause of broken relationships, suicides, and mass shootings. Today, the community hopes to shed light on the help for those suffering. A rally on the steps of the State House, where parents, children, and friends gathered to talk about the impact of mental health. It's continued lack of this understanding by society, healthcare, and yes, police that we all suffer in so many ways. We're in this together as a community and we really need to do more than we're doing. One in four Americans suffer from some kind of mental illness. It can be soldiers with PTSD, victims of abuse, or adults coping with depression. They are our neighbors, our friends, our family. Boise Deputy Police Chief William Bone spoke on the changes our community has made in dealing with mental illness. Forty years ago we took our mentally ill and we put them in asylum or we locked them in a room in our house and they never received any help. There's a difference today. You're seeing society recognize it as a physical illness and not something that's wrong with the person but something that we can help them cure. Chief Masterson was recognized for his work as an advocate for mental health. This week, the Boise City Council will look to strike a law that criminalizes attempted suicide. You can continue to, to arrest somebody over and over again and cite them, and they're never going to get help and they're not going to be cured because they're suffering from a physical illness. The change in attitude is seen best in police interaction with Boise's homeless. We really look to see if we can tie those people in with the services provided by our community. Police hope by giving the homeless mental health resources, they can get off the streets permanently. For more information on mental health and to find support for mental illness, we suggest the National Alliance of Mental Illness. Find a link to their website on our website, IdahoOnYourSide.com. Live in studio, Jake Melder, today's six on your side.